Aloha. Welcome to Upside Down Pilates. Today, Shannon will be with me demonstrating, and we are going to do a fabulous lesson focusing on the hips. So this is our hip repair lesson, um, and we're going to get those hips nice and strong and hopefully to help us stay pain-free and walking well into our 90s. Like, that's my goal. All right. As always, we are going to start with breathing. A lot of times, all of our problems that are going on in our limbs are coming from our lack of central support. So we are going to start with our breath, firing up our transversus abdominis, um, and getting our deep stabilizers working. All right, here we go. Shannon's got her pinwheel. You're going to take a big inhale through your nose, and then exhale, blow that pinwheel. Ten of these. One. And again, big inhale. You'd be surprised. Exhale two at the number of people who cannot blow their pinwheel. And again, inhale, exhale. Three. So I say go to the store, buy a pinwheel, and give it a shot. Four. Breathe in. And breathe it out. Five. Breathe in. And breathe out. Six. Inhale, and exhale, seven, inhale, and exhale, eight, two more, breathe in, and breathe out, nine, last time, inhale, and exhale, ten, excellent, all right, I will take your pinwheel, we are going to lay down on our back, and we're actually going to do imprint in neutral, all right? So, a lot of people, when they have hip problems, they're lacking the abdominal hamstring force couple. So this is going to wake up our abs a little bit. We're going to start in neutral. Remember, neutral is where two hip bones, pubic bone, are roughly flat across the top. You have a little arch in your lower back. And you're going to try and keep your ribs quiet while you do this. We're going to try. It's quite exciting. So breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you're going to hollow your abs and allow your low back to go towards the ground. Stay here a second, Shannon. Push your belly out to the sky and show us what it looks like when we bustle. Now, let it sink down and show us what it looks like when we hollow. Perfect. We want the nice, hollow, skinny one. And shift back to neutral. Inhale. And then exhale. Hollow as you tilt. Good. Two. Breathe in. And exhale, hollow as we tilt, three. And inhale back, and exhale, four. And then shift it back, and exhale, five. Shift it back. So just by doing this, keep going. Six, we're waking up our low abs, and we're waking up our hamstrings and glutes a little bit. Seven. Breathe in, and breathe out. Eight, breathe in, and nine, breathe in, ten. Good, shift back into neutral. We're gonna move into hip rolls. So now with hip rolls, you're gonna start really waking up your glutes and hamstrings. As you get to the top, especially people who have hip problems, you really wanna pull that pelvis underneath to get the glutes and hamstrings working, all right? Big inhale, exhale, roll through imprint and come up. And it may feel like you're tucking, dare I say that word. Inhale, now exhale, start up top and roll down. And you're gonna open bone by bone by bone, but at the bottom, squeeze your tush a little more and then bring it back to neutral. Inhale, exhale. Glutes and hamstrings squeeze and you can feel like your legs pull forward over your feet. Inhale and exhale, roll down. And again, pull your pelvis forward over your feet. Nice stretch in the low back and more in the tush. Do you feel it? And again, inhale. Roll it up. Nice. Three. We're going for ten today. Inhale. And roll it down. Tuck the pelvis, pelvis and pull those hips to your heels. Inhale. Roll it up. Four. Good. Inhale. And exhale. 
roll it down. Inhale, exhale, roll it up, five. Tuck the pelvis under more, inhale, and exhale, roll it down. Halfway there, breathe in, and roll it up, six. Breathe in, and roll it down. Breathe in, and roll it up, seven. Breathe in, and roll it down. Breathe in, and roll it up, eight. Breathe in, and roll it down. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Roll it up. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and roll it down. Very good. Bring your knees into your chest for a moment. In case you have any tension in the backs of our body. All right, we're gonna wake us up sideways. So a lot of times hip problems, there's we're missing our glute uh, medius support and we waddle a lot because we don't have enough support in the side of our hips. So this is the first one today that we're gonna do with the glute medius engaged. Come back a little bit, Shannon. Uh, not with your tush, sorry. Tush forward, a little more, and then upper body there. So knees are gonna be up at 90 degrees and then bring your heels back a little. We want our waist up. So again, it's very important in your hips that your torso is stable. Belly to the back, back to the belly, waist is up. Flex your feet for me, Shannon. Inhale. Now as you exhale, you're gonna lift that top leg. You do that by pressing the bottom leg down and keeping this waist up. A lot of times when we have hip problems, we're yeah, lower down. We try to use our hip flexors to do the work of the sides and back of our legs. Inhale, exhale, press down, and I really want you to focus on keeping the hips stable, and then inhale, lower down while you move the leg. Again, exhale, lift it side three and lower down. So it'll feel like you have to push your hip forward almost. Exhale, four. Yes, do you feel that? And bring it down. So leg lifts, it feels like you push the hip forward. Five, perfect. And six. Good, gorgeous. And seven. And even such a small move can be very miserable, can't it? And eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Good. Let's roll to your back and stretch the side out. So figure four stretch, left ankle over the right knee. When we're stretching here, again, you want to be in neutral. So stick your tail out. And you can, if you need to, press your elbow into the knee to get more of a rotation of the stretch if it'll go. Shannon here is very turned out already, so there's not much more to push, but some people need to push that elbow into the knee. Do we feel a little stretch there? Okay. All right. Let's flip. Head over to this side. We're going to do the same thing. Keeping that hip nice and still. Bring this waist up. Go slightly forward with this shoulder. There you go. Nice, so waist is up, abs are in, shoulders are down, we're happy, feet are flexed, inhale, and exhale, lift that leg and keep that rib off the ground, oh yeah, and bring it down, and exhale, lift it up, two, and bring it down, three, yep, you're doing beautiful, bring it down. So as a teacher, four, you may need to slide your hand under your client's waist and put it right on top of their hip, five, because they may have no idea that they're moving their hips all over the place. Six, inhale down, and seven, inhale down, and 
eight. And you have to remember in the beginning with hip issues, keep going. There's not a lot of strength here. Nine, so this could be a tremendous workout in the beginning. 10, very good. Onto your back and stretch. And it's very important to, especially in the beginning with hip issues, to strengthen and then stretch and strengthen and then stretch because you don't want to get everything all tight and then the person's walking around and they just feel all gripped up in their hips. They need to be able to feel free and open and not have pain. We're trying to avoid pain. All right, how's it feeling? All right. We're